prepare for rivals. Twisted Mike, thanks for following my guy. You just subbed out and you knew the password and you're just laughing my ass off. Well, good job you didn't write it in chat because everyone would have just been fucking logging in. We've been like 60 people in there. <laughs> Blake could have been like, what's going on? Why is everyone in here? It's just me being stupid. What can I say? <laughs> right. So a lot of Sons of Fenrir for Triarchy and a lot of Cavalry as well. Well, a lot of Cavalry. They've got two sets of Cavalry. But Sons of Fenrir are quick, so they might sally out as well. Um... I don't know if Sons of Fenrir are going to do that well. They've got a good chunk of Cav, though. This is going to be interesting. I think they're going to Sally as well. A lot of teams are Sally tonight on this map. But Chocolate Paladins have got a couple of Catters up of themselves. They've got a couple of Medal, a couple of IPG, a couple of Berserkers. So they're, they're, they've got decent stuff to deal with a Sally out. Um, they're probably going to have a guy, just in case, ready with a Treb as well. So we'll see if Triarchy do Sally. It looks like from the unit comp that they are going to Sally. Yeah, here comes another Sally out, boys. You ready? You ready for the destruction? Let's go. They've already started trebbing the gate. They should have waited slightly for the gate to open and then started trebbing because now they've got like a 20 second cooldown and all of Triarchy is going to be able to get out before something can happen. Um, good thing here with Chocolate Paladins, though, they've got a lot of their team on the supply point already. It's like the major thing that they need to defend. I don't think anybody's swapping units out. Another Treb coming in now, but that's a lot less effective than it would have been if they would have waited and just Treb when, when the gate opened. Um, but Chocolate Paladins having so many Modao IPGs and Cavalry out, they're actually in a very good position to, uh, to, to counter this, counter this Sally out. I like what Triac is doing here to get behind and start using their artillery against the attackers. Uh, they might even just be able to destroy it. Let's see. Are they going to destroy it or are they going to jump on it and use it? But the thing is, they're all back here, Triarchy. What's stopping... What's stopping Chocolate Paladins from just going through the gate and going up and capping A? <laughs> That's literally what they're doing. I think this is going to bite Triarchy in the ass because all of Chocolate Paladins are basically in the gatehouse. You've got Madawi, you've got IPG stopping these things here. Obviously, the, the flame pots there um, from Wine Grow are going to do work, but you've got Madaw and probably just IPG sat in the gate stopping all of the sallied out heroes from getting in. You've got a good push coming up and onto the wall now. Ripcats with a Treb. Uh, that could be pretty good, actually, on the grey air. They need to be lucky that it moves a little bit further forward from where it was aimed. And the heroes, well, that last one was good. There we go. Colt 45 jumping in and doing some damage. Rips Cat's playing as Jewel Blade again. There we go. It looks like they're on A. They've got control. They've got guys climbing the ladders. They might actually be quick enough to get on the way for Triarchy. This cavalry here is out of the match unless the, the, the player that's using it can get back and get a new unit out. That player is Blade or... No, wrong side. No, wait, no, it was that side. So it's either Blade or Jordan Menzo. Interesting. They need to get um Chocolate Paladin's got a good chunk of units and heroes though on the A point. It's gonna be a hard ask for Triarchy to get in and stop that though. That did not go well, did it? Because they all went to one side and they didn't really engage the blob, so the blob was just instantly like go for the gate, go for the gate. Um very nicely done. Capitalized very well on the fact that um they could get up on the point. They've nearly capped A as well. I don't think they will be able to do it because there's too many red units up here. Too many Berserkers and Palace Guards and stuff. So Triarchy have managed to stabilize. That Treb's going to do work. The Cav now is trying to retreat. Cav isn't trying to retreat. Okay. I wonder if the guys that respawn in for Chocolate Paladins are just going to run over and kill it in a sec though. Oh, I didn't see that they got the resupply though. When did that happen? Okay. The Jason West on the side is being cautious, not climbing up and feeding heroes in. Um, 
unit, well, hero-wise, at least, it's 11-11, although the other side said 9-12, which is interesting. 255 units lost for the attackers, 209 for the defenders. The defenders still have more units. That was mental. That was absolutely mental. So Chocolate Paladin's going to lose two more heroes of rear, which is not what you want to see. Although, they just killed another hero themselves anyway. That sounds like Scottish Buddy was trying to use a stock default voice command system and it wouldn't recognize his commands. Was that a uh, Marker G? Because I was speaking to Marker G and like I was just explaining him how I do it. And he's got a pretty pretty strong Scottish accent. So I um like when I, I I stole something off of his stream as well, if you like. I think it's always a compliment when when people do that because it's something when you see something good and like you just try like it's just, like he had um basically if you if I, I raided him. And then he did like a like what I do if somebody raids me like a, a exclamation so command with like the at then the name and it like just pops up saying oh yeah this person streams as well go and give him a follow or say hello or something. Um, and he had it so that when he did it it popped up with a clip from my channel and it was just like in the corner of a clip a random clip of me just being stupid like I normally am. And I was like that is actually really good. Um, and I was like can I use something similar on my stream? So I basically did something similar when I'm on my break. Like, I, I say a command to go into my break screen. There's like It shows, like, random clips that have been made on my, my stream and got put on there as well. And then I was speaking to Mark the other day about, um, about like, things we do on stream and that. And he was like, how, like, he's seen that I did that with the commands to change the banners. And he asked me how I did it. So it was just, it was just chatting. It explained how to do it and, like, where to get the programs and, uh, like, where I found out, I found out how to do it and stuff. So, it's all good. Right, so they've got both towers up now, Chocolate Paladins have. Again, hero-wise, it's... Oh, fuck off, game. Hero-wise, it's fairly even. It's actually very even. 14-10 on this side, and it says 13-12 over here. So that makes no sense. Apparently, somebody must have accidentally tread themselves or something. I don't know. I fell off of a wall. Yeah, closing the gate was a good move there. Yeah. The Paladins now are resetting. Um... They've got four minutes for a push here. They do not need long on A, though. And they're going to do a split push as well. But these guys on this tower need to be very careful because they're so close to a big chunk of Triarchy. If Triarchy push them here, they could easily clear this out before the other guys come in. That's a good treb as well. They didn't see that, unfortunately. That was a good treb. Even though if it didn't kill many units, it's going to do damage. Wait, why are Chocolate Paladins pushing with Matelatori? Akka's Ripcats would have used his uh, Shield Maidens on the last fight, and Falconetis for this point is not good. Silidar's pushing in, Flames pushing in as well. That Treb could be huge. Those Flames need to die. Chocolate Paladins need to jump on those Flames. That Treb could have done it for them, though. Uh, they've just lost their whole push. They are on A, though. The Triarchy have got a good chunk of heroes killed there, but they did just lose A. Uh, they may have the numbers to defeat this, though. These Shenjis are going to get killed. Yeah, the Condos from Blades here. Nice move, try to get in there and get rid of him. I think, though, he's just going to have to shock attack and run away, Blades. He does not want to be staying there and dying for no reason. Still very close, though. you got Ripcats in the back there just being an absolute pain in the, the butthole. Uh, a good chunk of Triarchy heroes are dead. Chocolate Paladins are probably going to be able to clear this out here. I don't know if these guys should have maybe been retreating, but I think they probably didn't want to just lose their units for no reason. Um, and now they're going to try and retreat. Libao is very low though, so if he gets caught out, he's dead. Nikolaus, uh, Combs, and CB just died as well. So did Cesar and Mendoza. So the Triarchy just lost a lot of heroes there. Maybe should have pulled back slightly earlier. I think the hero disparity is now slowly building up for Chocolate Paladins. Triarchy Blates is out of the game, so he should not have pushed on the point there. Maybe he could have sent his condos in, but he should have turned around and run. Combs has died tw uh, too many times as well, so... Triarchy are now down to a maximum of 13 players. They also have a number of guys on two deaths as well. Chocolate Paladins are putting pressure on A, B and the Supply. Um, Triarchy now need to basically reset and go back to base. They cannot defend all three things at once. Um, and they're just going to lose heroes for no gain. They've stopped C. And they're going to try pushing now for the Supply Point. But they've just dropped another chunk of heroes. But so have Chocolate Paladins, man. This is this is risky, though. This is very risky. So B's about to get caught. 
Obviously, the, the mall over here, if he gets caught out, which he's going to rip cats, is that, yeah. Triac has just dropped a number of heroes, and I don't know if they can have the numbers now. How many jewel blades are running around, man? What the hell? Rip cats, Talisman, Blake. I'm pretty sure bloody... there was another guy running around as a jewel blade before as well. Absolutely brutal. So chocolate paladins, instead of losing heroes, are pulling back now as much as they can. If they're gonna get resupplies up, they're gonna get new units, reset and go. They've still got five minutes, so they don't really need to worry. Bre Beezy or Breezy down there dying was kind of a waste. I think Triac have managed to stabilize. While, while we're waiting for a reset, I'm gonna check the heroes quickly. So it's 20, this size says 20, it's, it's close. Right, chocolate paladins have got one guy out of the game. They've got a good chunk of players though, like maybe up to eight that are on two deaths. So if they die one more time, they're out of the match. But Triarchy have lost Blades and Combs already, and they also have a good number of players that if they die one more time, they're out of the fight. So this is very, very close. Uh, unit wise, the attackers have only got 482 left. The defenders have got 624. Both teams have roughly lost the same amount. So, that being said, the quality is on the side of Chocolate Paladins. And Triarchy's that doesn't actually count up because Combs and Blades are fully out of the match. This is going to be interesting. So, Chocolate Paladins are taking their time. They've obviously got one hero advantage. Um, how are they going to do with this, though? I don't know if pushing this is the right... Unless they're just going to try making them push over this way and then send somebody through the bottom to get it. I'll send a few guys, because B's really close to getting getting capped. They should me really maybe have just like all moved down here and just done like one big push on B and then got it. Specialist wise, the attackers have got Falconities and Shenjis. The defenders have nothing. They've got a good chunk of cavalry out there. They've got Silidars as well, a couple of Berserkers. IPGs and everything, so. Get him. Twisted Mike. Season level 1 doing season level 1 things. Four blades. Any heroes at free death? Yeah, there's a number at free death. So you'll hear it in like three minutes, but there's um there's two from Triarchy and one from, from Chocolate Paladins so far. So Chocolate Paladins have uh, rotated back around. They are going to push for B. Um, I don't know if they should maybe have gone... Although they've got a good chunk going through the, the gateway as well. So Zedris is on B now as well. Winegrow, Libao, and then a number of heroes are going to try pushing up to stop them. Obviously, I think Zedris have got cataphracts up. Those cataphracts are going to do work if they don't get stopped. They didn't get IPG'd because I see this big blob's coming here. But that cataphract charge got through everything. And Zedris is still just running around in the back line. Chocolate Paladin's got a big chunk here of units just like in a big blob, which is going to be difficult to deal with for Triarchy. Triarchy just, uh, just dropped two heroes, I think, on the, the B point. Another cataphract coming through from Chocolate Paladin's absolutely murking. Um, Triarchy are now only down to 10 heroes alive, 9 heroes alive. B has just been capped by Chocolate Paladins. I wouldn't be surprised to see, like normally you would see people rushing to go for base point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just join the fight and start clearing up heroes though. Although they, they don't need to. They've got enough to pull back here and they're going to rush with 4 guys to the base point and get it capped. Or the 3 guys to base maybe and 1 guy to the resupply. Or I'll shut up and it's going to be all 4 on base. Uh, the fight back here, there's still, what, four or five guys from Triarchy running around. It looks like they don't really have units, though, and they're completely outnumbered. I know they try to, like, slow them down, but... And that's GG. Too many guys dead for Triarchy. Too many guys out the match, probably. The guys that will be respawning back in will have a fairly uh, fairly long respawn timer. Uh, they're putting pressure on C, Cap and C. They've got a good chunk of people on the base point. Yeah, Muskets on base, but he's going to die like instantly. Nicholas Blowers the Glade. Oh, he's just managed to get on there though. Cataphract's coming in as well. That could actually be... They might be able to clear this, but they're not going to have the numbers to actually stop them and hold them off for four minutes, especially not when they capture C now and then get even more time. There is a good chunk of Cataphracts here from the defense though at the minute. They've got a good five man on the, on the point. They've got three heroes attacking them so far, but with like four heroes coming from behind now, it's, it's, it's done. These Cilidars that are coming around the corner might be able to do something, but with the Cataphracts coming in behind them as well, it's GG Chocolate Paladins. Three points. Three points. That was scrappy, man. That was scrappy. Like, the Sally out 
There was a, a number of mistakes made from both teams there. The Sally out initially, like the actual getting out the, the keep, went really well for Triarchy because um, Chocolate Paladins completely messed up the treb and just trebbed before the gate was even open. Then Triarchy got out really well and then like went on a huge flank around the sides and then bloody <laughs> Chocolate Paladins just charged for the gate. Managed to close the gate as well when the majority of the stuff got through. Um, then there was just like a massive brawl spread out everywhere. And the game could have gone either way at that point. It was like mental, the fighting going on. Like look at how close like unit kill scoring. That is absolutely brutal, man. That was mental. Like, I've, not I've never seen that map go down like that. That was actually really nice to watch. GG both teams, man. GG both teams. Like... The balls, like I've said this numerous times, when when a sally out like that happens, if you can keep your team in a blob and like go for like a, a siege tower, the ram or just the gate or something, you can get work done, man. And like Chocolate Paladins proved my theory right today. They got they got through the gate. They had enough blocking basically the gate so that they couldn't get stuff in from behind them. They then closed the gate, got up onto the A point, didn't obviously manage to fully cap it, but they did work on it, man. So absolutely brutal. Lone Sword, thank you for the follow my guy, much appreciated. Right, let's actually look at MVPs and stuff. So, Arte, 2, 3, 13, and 108 units killed. 3, Sifra, a good chunk of other units killed as well. Zedris was second. Doing absolute work there. 2, 3, 12, and 87. The most units killed was actually its Colt 45, with 3, 3, 6, and 111 units killed. And then 100 units as well for Breezes. <laughs> Breezes. And, uh, like, the hero kills was... was a massive, massive advantage that um, Chocolate Paladins have. I mean, they had four but dual blades out at the end. Look, it's Colt, Blake, Talisine, and Ripcat doing absolute work. Well, Ripcat with six heroes killed. Mr. Boombastic with five. Blake with six. Uh, Talisine, or Talizane, sorry, with five. Um, doing absolute work. And um, Triarchy, I mean, Nasu, like Lexa and Senophilico. With 10 heroes killed between them. 21, 22 assists as well. So doing absolute work there. 99 units killed for Senophilico. And the most units killed from their team was Rich Panda. So we had 138 and 113. Doing absolute 41 gray uh gray air garrison, man. Absolutely brutal. Nas like Lexa though with 6, 2, and 13 assists. Huge. Very well played. Very, very well played. Right. So as you can see, like on the the initial sally out, um, they didn't really lose anything when they actually came out. And these red dots dying was when they tried charging back in, and there was like Madao IPGs and some other stuff that, that, that were there basically. Chocolate Paladins obviously lost some units in the back here, but they were mainly blobbed up on the supply. And then they just moved as a blob for the, for the gate. And by the time Triarchy realized it was too late, they were already in. But um. Brutal.